Good morning, Bobcats, and happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me this morning for WBLS Morning News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Wednesday, September the 25th. Wow, and it's special area day too. Teachers, please make sure you check the adjusted times for lunch in special area. Um, due to early dismissal, you'll need to make sure you know when you're supposed to bring your class. Let's check on our weather forecast for this Wednesday. We're going to have cloudy skies today with a low of 73 and a high temperature of 86. Now listen, friends, the next two days... We're not going to be coming to school. We'll leave a little bit early this today, and but we won't come to school the next two days due to a hurricane that will be entering the Gulf of Mexico. Now, you might be wondering, Ms. Young, what is a hurricane exactly? Well, it's a powerful storm that forms near North America and the Caribbean islands, and sometimes they'll even call them tropical cyclones. When I lived um, in Japan, near the Pacific Ocean, they were actually called typhoons, but it was it was the same thing as a hurricane. It was just in the Pacific um, Ocean. So here we call it a hurricane, and hurricane and trop tropical cyclones are circular storms that form over warm oceans. So that's why we don't get um, hurricanes in the middle of the winter time, right? Because the waters are cooler. And when the hurricane arrives on land, it can bring heavy rains and winds. And that's why we'll be out on Thursday and Friday, because it's safer for all of us to be um, with our families and be at home. But we will look forward to seeing all of you back on Monday. Today in the Bucklet Cafeteria, they're going to have a bean and cheese pupusa. Oh, that's fancy. A beef hot dog baby carrots, and baked beans. We've got b beans, beef, baby, and baked. Kindergartners, what sound do you hear? What sound do you hear? You hear the b sound for B. Fresh Florida fruit or fruit juice and white chocolate or strawberry milk. Teachers, make sure and take notice of the change in your lunch uh, schedule as well. Guys, we have a lot of birthdays I'm going to try and get through really quickly. And we have a couple adult birthdays as well. I know Mr. McFarlane will celebrate his birthday over the weekend. And there's somebody else, but I didn't get to that list, so I will find out. So hold on tight. These are everybody who have a birthday today through Sunday. Happy birthday to Jordan and Miss Dameron's class. Cal in Miss Hurley's class, Elliot in Miss Schmidt's class, Penn in Miss Widener's class, William in Miss Connor's class, Sophia in Miss Threadgill's class, Ryan in Miss Picnic's class, Bailey in Ryan's class, how about that, Paisley in William's class, Cora in Miss Howell's class, and Luke in Miss McLeod's class. All of you will be having birthdays between now and Sunday. I hope you have a great, great birthday. We've been talking about cooperation. On the news this week, cooperation is simply working together for a common goal and in a positive way. You're probably going to have to cooperate with your family, right, over the next few days to help out. And I hope you'll do that. I want you to be thinking about, though, how are you seeing cooperation in your wild robot book or in the boy and bot? A great big thank you to Miss Mrs. McLeod and Mr. McLeod, who actually happened to be my neighbors as well, who brought me, they made me a very special Roz the Robot, and you can see her in the media center, and one of her very special friends flew in as well. Teachers, just a reminder, we're going to hold off on our door decorating until next week so that those don't get damaged. Listen, I've got some gold in my tie-dye shirt, and... Um, we have been having lots of envelopes come in. Thank you so much for childhood cancer. If your parents say it's okay, you can bring that money in. Let's plan on carrying it into next week, bringing our envelopes, and then we'll let you know what day we're going to wear gold. Teachers, if you want to take a picture with our Go um, Be Bold, Go Gold sign, it's in the aquarium. Hey. Hey, thank you, Ms. Curtis Class, for doing the affirmation for us. I'm excited to share that. 
That's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr, be prepared, be upstanding, be responsible, and always be respectful. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.